Hi everyone, it's Katie. Welcome to my studio and happy holidays. I hope you're doing well. And if you do find the holidays a bit stressful, well, remember that we want to ground ourselves and feel relaxed at all times. So I'm going to tell you what I believe the three most important things are for belly dancing and perhaps for all forms of dancing in a way, but particularly for belly dancing because it's such a gravity rich dance. Firstly, for belly dancing, we need to weight sense. Now, how do we weight sense? It's really allowing yourself to move into the vertical shaft and down. Now, right now you can't see my feet, but they're flat and they just kind of push up and off. So what I'm going to do is weight sense by pushing the weight from one side to the other. And as I do, I come up and down. I allow the breath to kind of rise and fall and feel gravity. So weight sensing is really important because of being able to feel your weight transfer so you can move slowly to the sides. This is what I call rich, full and fluid weight transfer. So I'm slowly moving feeling my weight at the sides, right and left. I feel it distinctively moving from one side of the body to the other, from one hip joint to the other. However, if I load my weight into one side and I suddenly take my weight into the other side, that's a rapid weight transfer. And again, this is weight sensing. Weight sensing can be slow weight transfer or rapid weight transfer. So number one, weight sensing is important. Remember, weight sensing normally happens in the vertical shaft of the body. Breathing in and out, which is why the fluid spinal moves like the figure of eights are so lovely or the undulating front back moves or the outwards moves where we're stretching, reaching out, outside of our centre of our body. So number one, weight sensing is so important in oriental dance, Egyptian belly dance, even fusion. It's really important to be able to weight sense Feel your weight, feel your gravity, feel your heaviness. Allow yourself to come up and down and really sense what's going on in the body. So number one, weight sensing. Number two, buoyancy. Buoyancy comes from our center of levity in the chest and the ears. And if you allow yourself to be buoyant, what you do is you open the heart area. So you're dancing more from that emotional space which is right there in the heart chakra area so allow yourself to sense buoyancy feel buoyancy i love egyptian dancing because they're so buoyant there's a lot of fun that's happening in the top of the body it's like a boat bobbing on the water it's buoyant it gives you a sense of liberation freedom lightness and joy it opens your heart now, if you're having trouble with shoulders or lifting up, sometimes I find that you know, if you have shoulder issues, it can actually Im impair the ability to shoulder shimmy or open that heart area. So just do soft shoulder rolls and exercises. Think of your shoulders as being fluid filled and then also your wrists as being fluid filled. And think about your lungs inside your body, the, beautiful spongy organs, the lungs, as containing the heart. It's almost like a ball and socket joint. So imagine your heart rolling around in your lungs. Remember Isadora Duncan said that the hands are the messengers of the heart. So you see how they're all in that line, that chakra line. You will actually be able to express a lot of the heart through the hands. And the third Thing I find is very important in belly dancing in particular is to really allow yourself to sense the pelvic bowl and sense the roundness of the pelvic bowl and the roundness of the pelvic bowl 
means that it's a visceral sensing. It's very fluid, it's organic, and you actually feel the organs in the body. I love doing the exercise where we imagine that we have a bowl of fruit inside of our pelvic bowl. In fact, that the pelvic bowl is the bowl of fruit. We can then differentiate between that deep, gorgeous juicy weight sensing that happens in the pelvic bowl between the two joints versus this peripheral kind of movement that happens when we weight sense and really stretch our bodies in space. So we can really go into our deep pelvic bowl, undulations, small circles, hip movements where the figure of eight then becomes a circle on one side. Now remember, weight sensing, deep, full ownership of your weight and your body, the space that you're taking up. Buoyancy, the joy, the expression, the openness in the chest, in the heart, and the deep, grounded, pelvic bowl. So remember, those things I find are very important to belly dancing at any level, no matter what size, what shape, what kind of body you have. Own your gravity through your weight sensing. Feel your gravity. Own your buoyancy. Open up. It's quite majestic to open up through the heart. It's joyful. Own your lightness and buoyancy as well as your depth and gravity. And then as a woman, come back into the pelvic bowl. And of course, some men as well will really enjoy this movement. We as women have a certain shape in the pelvic bowl, which is really conducive to this round, organic birthing kind of movement. It's very deep, very sensual, but it also grounds us. So I hope that little lesson's helped you feel that uh, your dancing is on track, as long as you're really looking at weight sensing, dancing through the pelvic bowl, and maintaining a sense of balance or levity, particularly in that chest area. Happy dancing everyone, happy holidays, and I wish you all the best till I see you again. I will be trying in 2022 to give you one video a week from home, from my studio, so we can all share in the beauty of the dance together.